So, have you um, have you played or have you coached any Premiership players? I mean, you, you get a lot of um, ex pros, ex prems that, that go into coaching. Two boys I had in the army uh, got bought off us by Celtic, right. and ended up playing in the Premier League. Wow. So we went from army football to Premier League, played for the Scotland in the World Cup, and won the Scottish FA Cup. Seriously? And he played three years for me in Germany. A boy called Gary Holt. Gary Holt. Oh yeah. Yeah. And he went on to win. Big money in the Premier League, played all the Premier League, yeah. Wow. And he was in the army, was actually, yeah. Some good players in the army. Yeah. Mikey Taylor, the Birmingham keeper, yeah. ex-army. A few, few good boys. So, with these players, are they, because they're good at football and they were in the army, does that give them leverage to get out of the army? Um, we have to sort of kick Gary Holt out because he hadn't been in long enough to get out. So we have to say it was a bad self. He said, let him go and play professional. Right. We didn't want him to miss the opportunity to play professional. So him in the centre half, just a little both left. Yeah. Oh. Still keep in contact with friends with him. Yeah. Oh, it's very it's very for you there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so um it's also like you've done a bit of coach you've done coaching abroad in, in uh, Germany. Germany. I had German team, yeah, I used to manage German teams. Oh right, okay. Yeah. So with the um, is there a different mentality with because obviously we mean it's two thousand and eleven now, January. Um, England in the World Cup yeah. just gone, got beat really badly by Germany. Yeah. Um, is there a different coaching mentality in Germany than there is to? Um, it's to culture. Germany? It's German art, straight down the line. Ten o'clock, ten o'clock, disciplined, and they are just. Yeah. So we're organised. England, not so much. America, a bit laid back. Germany has chose some discipline, which is good in one way, yeah. good in one way, but you don't get the Spanish little flair in the German, do you? Germans, are, it's a Mercedes, isn't it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a Mercedes and it goes and it goes and it goes, whereas Spain, I like Spanish football, Portuguese. Yeah. But so I guess the results are in So were there elements from the your, your German coaching days that you brought into your English I suppose it is, you take a bit from everything that you Germany, I take a bit of England, America, and wherever I've worked, I, I just take what I like to see. Discipline's a big one with me though, but that's just the way I want my life. Okay, and is, in that, is that from... Um, Probably from the, the army. army. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> it's from the army. But before the army, I was in the navy. Right. So I travelled the world quite a bit in the navy. So, so if from one extreme to the other. So if, if you were going to give... Um, Oh, so I'm, I'm jumping around with the question, but if, if you were going to give a, a, a Gambian coach um, some advice, or one bit of advice, would you, what would be the most important bit of advice you give to a Gambian coach? Just try things. Try any ideas. If it doesn't work, don't use it if it works. Be innovative. Try something new. Yeah. And, and just keep learning. I keep learning. No, just study football, really. Watch football. So, so not yeah. not just keeping it as as yeah. it says in the book, no. the gospel. No, no. Try a couple of different things. Yes. I mean, one thing I like about um, African football in general is that very attack minded. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they focus a lot on the technical. And they've got natural technical ability. So, what I'm hoping is that when you come yeah. over and you shore yeah. up some of the positional yeah. type stuff, they'll be able to use that. And but. I, I don't want to take that away. I don't yeah. want to take them to, to say, well, this is the way it is, yeah. uh, and, and stuff like that. So we'll we'll see how we uh, how we get on over yeah. the next uh, next couple of weeks.